We are here out in the southwestern part of the state of Michigan in a city that's really cool and also really fun to say. A hair one, Scott, and welcome to Kalamazoo. It's a very mild morning here. It, as you can tell, I'm not, I'm not even wearing a jacket and it's mid to late January. Although I am wearing a long sleeve because it is still a little nippy out, but. But yeah, we're gonna explore quite a bit of the downtown today, check out a lot of the cool sites, and then even head over to Western Michigan University over that way. And then we'll end our video over by the Kalamazoo River. Kalamazoo was not always called Kalamazoo. It actually was originally called Bronson as it was founded back in 1831 by Titus Bronson. And then, yeah, not to be confused with another Bronson that's to the southeast of here. Although they did rename it to Kalamazoo five years later by some of the other sellers, basically to get back at them. But even since the 1840s, Kalamazoo has really boomed as a big, even with a lot of industry, as you can tell, there's still a lot of businesses in here. A little fun fact, Kalamazoo is actually known as the Celery City because, because it, even going back to the 19th century, uh, celery was highly produced here. I wish I would start this video with the, with the thing of celery, but oh well. <laughs> Let's get on this side of the camera. And then, yeah, we're right here on... I believe this is yeah, yeah. This is Michigan Avenue right here, and yeah, and then right here is the courthouse. This is the courthouse for uh, Kalamazoo County. Yeah, yeah, the, the Kalamazoo County building. That's what the what it says on the top there. Yeah, a pretty cool courthouse, I have to say. Got the Kalamazoo building over there. Babe, we're gonna head south to the other side of the building and, we're, and we'll head over to Bronson Park. Just to the south of the courthouse, we have Bronson Park, which is named after the city's founder, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. But yeah, with it being the middle of January, the fountain is definitely not active right now. All throughout the park, you can see just some different memorials. You got one for Korea over there. Yeah, it's a very nice park, although I can't really see on the other side. Let's move over there. Ah, yeah, much better view on the other side of the tree. We have to take a look at that. And then between here and the little amphitheater, oh, it's not really an amp. I, you can call that a little bit, but yeah, really cool sculptures. Good thing I'm wearing shoes right now. Otherwise, this would hurt quite a bit. To the south of Bronson Park, we have the beautiful City Hall and gotta love the historic buildings. But yeah, actually I want to make a little correction at the, from what I said at the beginning of the video. Kalamazoo actually was founded, yeah, still by Titus Bronson, but back in June of 1829, so two years earlier than what I originally said. How I know is because it says at the, at the top left of the building, so if that's actually incorrect, you might want to... You might, might want to let the city of Kalamazoo know that. <laughs> but yeah. Nevertheless, though, the building's really nice. And just got to love that. I love that historic house right next to it, too. Oh, wow. Look at that. Quite a beautiful church. That's the first Presbyterian church. Since 1929... The Civic Auditorium has been putting out a lot of different productions inside, and you even take some theater classes inside there, too. It's just to the side of the First Presby 
Presbyterian Church. And then, yeah, if we pan over here, we have the Kalamazoo Institute of Arts. Um, it's, the, it's an art museum here in Kalamazoo, and you can actually go inside, um, check out some, some cool art. Uh, for adults, it's $5, and for students, it's $2. Just gotta show your ID. Back in 1856, oh, you can hear my echo. <laughs> Obscure lawyer Abraham Lincoln actually spoke in front of a, of a rally here, like in this park. And, and there's a very good chance hardly anybody knew that a few years later he'd become the 16th president of the United States. And it was also his only rally in the state of Michigan. Yeah, as we make our way to these, we have the Kalamazoo Public Library. And you can hear the sound from that. Oh, time to cross. But yeah, the building looks very modern. But yeah, I can even see some bookshelves in there. Yeah, hey, over there we have the Kalamazoo State Theater. Uh, since 1927, it's been playing out many different productions from vaudeville, ballet, different dramas, and even movies in, in there. And it's so fun, it's put on, puts on some, some great material today. It's basically along, it's, it's along Burdick Street, which as you get up to here, Burdick Street turns into the Kalamazoo Mall. So let's go check it out. As you saw that sign in the previous segment, um, this is the the very first open air pedestrian walk in North America. It was dedicated back in 1959, and two blocks of it still remains today. Back in that stretch of the Kalamazoo Mall, they actually reopened that to traffic. Nevertheless, there's a lot of, a lot of cool shops and restaurants through there, but it's nice that they still kept a couple blocks of Burdick Street, a, a pedestrian only zone. But yeah, I've seen a lot of people go out for a jog this morning along this pedestrian block. But yeah, Kalamazoo's uh, quite nice. Although it's kind of cloudy out right now, it's a little nippy, but very nice city, I have to, I have to admit. Oh, we have the Arcadia Creek right over here. Tell it's been warm because it's not frozen at all. And we're here at the Arcadia Creek Festival place. During the summertime, this place is really hopping. Because we have a very nice amphitheater right behind me and put on a lot of great performances. Although you're not really gonna see any at this time of the year. So technically, I can actually go up there and... I can actually, actually, actually uh, go up there and do some singing. Although I probably would scare everybody out of the city.
Yeah, I'm actually on my way over to the uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Park and passing by the huge bus depot. This is like the transportation center. This is where people can come on and off the buses to come to Kalamazoo. And we're here at one of the many parks here in Kalamazoo. And this is a, a quite an important park. Uh, this is the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Park. And we have a, we have a beautiful memorial dedicated to the, the late but great Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He was definitely a, a quite a powerful nonviolent civil rights activist and he, 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 he did a lot of great things for this country. I'll admit, yeah, I was starting to tear up when I was looking at the statue of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. It's very important that we, that we all all stick all sit together, all colors, all races, all sexes, and we take on life's challenges together. It's very important these days. Coming up next, we're going to head over to another famous place in Kalamazoo, Western Michigan University, home of the Broncos. We are here at Western U Michigan University. It's located just about a couple miles southwest of downtown Kalamazoo. The university has been around since 1903 and originally started as the the Western State Normal School and classes actually opened up a year later. Nowadays there's a lot of students who attend this university and as we'll see actually coming up in the video we'll be going by Waldo Stadium where the Western Michigan University Broncos football team plays. But yeah, I'm not really going to cover much of the university at all in this video. I might come back at a later time, maybe do a separate video of the university. I haven't decided yet, but it's always a possibility. I, I did do the video at Oakland University after all. Although I'm not going to really get a chance to walk around campus a whole lot, it's pretty nice for at least, at least for what I'm seeing so far. Yeah, although the visibility is a little poor because of the sunlight, but over there, yep, there is Waldo Stadium, home to the to the Western Michigan University Broncos football team. And one cool thing, uh, they, congrats to their football team this, this year. They went undefeated in the regular season. And they also won the MAC championship. However, they unfortunately lost to Wisconsin and won the bowl games. All right, we're going to go conclude the video over at one of the parks. And we made it out to the east part of Kalamazoo. And here we have the baseball stadium here at the Mayor's Riverfront Park, home to the Kalamazoo Growlers baseball team. Just think of that. Also, there's even a, it's like a soccer field out that way. And turn around over here, we have the Kalamazoo River. Actually, we'll go down this trail a little bit before we conclude the video. We can see a little bit of the Kalamazoo River, and yeah, you can definitely tell the the water level is a little high right now. But yeah, compared to the beginning of the video, the sun's really come out. All the low clouds have started to clear out, and it's turned out to be a quite a beautiful day. They weren't really saying it was supposed to be this nice today in terms of sunshine. But yeah, I'll be perfectly honest, I have not seen the sun a whole lot in January. But yeah, very nice park though. But yeah, Kalamazoo has quite a bit to offer from a, a beautiful downtown area, especially the, the the Kalamazoo Mall, where there's even a like a two-block pedestrian-only zone, but even in the car zone, there's definitely a lot of great shops and restaurants in there. 
Also, there is Western, Western Michigan University, and, and of course, you can check out many of the different parks all throughout Kalamazoo, including the Mayor's Riverfront Park along the Kalamazoo River. And actually, you can see some people kayaking or canoeing right now, too. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give this video a like or a thumbs up. For more Scott Mini 95 Trail videos, definitely click that subscribe button as I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. At the end of every video, I've links to my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram pages. Well, thank you for watching today's video here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. This is Scott signing out.